All right, guys, so today we are doing an informal review of a lot of iPhone products that we have accumulated over the past two months of having the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, we did a video on unboxing and reviewing the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which me and my wife, Megan, both have, and we absolutely love it. And if you wanna see that video, check the link in the description. So what we wanted to do today is go over all of the products that we have, the ones we love, the ones we don't like, and maybe give you guys an insight on which products might work best if you have the Apple ecosystem. All right, let's get into it. Oh, look who's joined us. <laughs> we have the rest of the family here, Josie and Megan. Yes. And you know where we're at right now? The couch tree. <laughs> we're here. Yeah. And it is time to do some product reviews. And we have a lot of stuff. Megan brought some stuff. Mm -hmm. Josie did not bring anything. No, she did not. No, she Useless. Didn't. Exactly. <laughs> but we're here. We're going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So let's go ahead and get into these product reviews. All right. So starting off with the products, full disclaimer, we were sent these for free, but they did not pay us to uh, make any reviews on these products, yeah. right? They right. sent them to us. Right, they sent, sent them to us, said if you want to post a video, feel free, and we obviously are going to post a video. Now, so this is going to be an honest review of these products. We have two different subcategories. We have some tempered glass screen protectors and camera protectors from our friends over at BASG, and we will link these down in the description. But we're going to go over these. And there is a coupon code for these. There is a coupon yes, code. Yes, which exactly. will be in the description. Correct, and we have two amazing cases um, from our friends over at Rayward, G-R-E-W-R-D. So these are going to be the cases and the screen protectors, and we've tried them both, so let's get into our thoughts on these. So I have an open mind. They sent us two, right? Yeah, they, they sent, sent one us for two. you and one for me. Exactly. Kind of cool. Yep, and I'm looking at the inside here, and I notice it's kind of like there's a foam backing on the inside, and uh, it has like some cross hatching in it. This could be good for um, protecting the thumbs. Well, and they also sent, well, with this product comes two glass screen, screen protectors. As and well. what are these? The cleaning wipes? Yeah, these oh, are the. Perfect. Well, it's a screen protector accessory. Let's open them and find out. Why not? So, this is the first time we're opening this yellow package. Exactly. Let's see. It's inside. All right, yep. so it's just the microfiber cleaning cloth, the alcohol, and the little stickers that. The dust absorber stickers. So. Exactly. So if you've ever Normal put stuff. screen protectors on, you know that this is pretty typical. Yeah. But that's awesome because how much were these cases? I think these were only like twelve to fifteen dollars. Let me get the exact price for you. One second. All right. Right now, these are only twelve dollars and seventy nine cents for the on iPhone Amazon. thirteen Pro Max on Amazon. We're gonna leave the affiliate link in the description below. And these come not only with this rubberized case, which has a uh, soft outer shell and a hard inner shell. It comes with two screen protectors. So I know that when we bought screen protectors, we paid like ten dollars for two. Yeah, ten dollars for probably two worth. And that was a good deal. Mm -hmm. And this is a full case with two screen protectors, which is pretty I mean, awesome. That's, you know, yeah, I think that's. Cool. Let's put it on our phones and see how they look and see what the functionality is. Right? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so let's see how easy it is to get these phone cases on. So there's, if you've used OtterBox, this is kind of a similar design to it. So you just take the outer rubberized uh, portion off, and then there are, this is actually exactly like my other OtterBox that I had. Mm -hmm. Now there's no front plastic screen protector like on some of the OtterBoxes, but yeah. they give you glass screen protectors, which is pretty I awesome. prefer the way glass screen protectors feel on my phone because it feels like the actual. Right, screen. right. And those glass screen protectors have that like oleophobic coating that like prevents oils and um, you know, stuff from building up on it, which I kind of really like it. It's very smooth. Mm -hmm. So let's put it in. We'll put the phone inside. We'll clip the top piece on and put it inside the rubberized case. And this is the first time we're doing this with this case, so it's a little firm, but that's good because you don't want to worn out. Yeah, that's true. All right, so here it is. Inside the phone case, let me feel the buttons. The buttons feel pretty tactile. Um, everything looks good, and what we have is these nice flaps so i work in a pretty dusty environment so this phone case will keep all of the open holes except the speaker holes closed which is really nice mm -hmm. um you know your phone cable insert is going to be nice and protected and also your silent and non-silent your vibration basically rocker is going to be protected which is nice also your um, volume up and down knobs are protected and your home button knob or your um, lock button knob are protected i should say so yeah overall good looking case check yeah. that out they feel i like how it kind of feels a little bit rubbery but still hard right so I would feel it's comfortable dropping case. my phone with this case on it. Yeah. I really would. No, I would too. Yeah, it's nice and soft rubber on the outside, but hard rubber on the inside with that uh, foam back plate on the inside. Yeah, a little extra protection. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. And the colors are really cool. And they have other colors other than the purple. 
little bit of red. Um, and the phone just looks really nice inside of it. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, that's a that's a good looking case. Yep. There is going to be a link down in the description box if you do want to check these out. Um, like we said, not sponsored. They just sent them over to us, which is pretty right. cool. Exactly. So here they are again from our friends over at Green World. So that's really nice of them. Thank you very much. Let's continue with these tempered glass screen protectors. Now, when we got these, we were super excited. These are from our friends over at VASG, and these are also linked in the description. Um, but this is a basically a camera protector. And what you do here is you basically will take this camera protector and just line it up with the lenses and put it right over it. And this is really handy because now you don't have the issue of your, you know, worrying about your camera lenses getting scratched anything like that. And there's cutout holes for the flash, um, which is really nice, and the back microphone, which is really sweet. Now, the issues that we've had with this, by the way, this is the other case that I just put on my phone. The issues that we've had with this are a little bit of twofold here. We have one that is broken. And let me bring this up to you guys, and I'll show you. This is a, you know, glass lens protector. And what you'll see here, if it focuses, is that there is actually a hole in it. So that's unfortunate. But the other problem that we've had is that when we're trying to um, change focus on an image or just, you know, first time bring up focus on it. Like it, on the camera app. Right, on the camera app, it takes about two seconds. So the glass in front of the lenses is kind of, you know, playing with the camera. Lens, well, right? these these cameras weren't meant to have another glass in front of them, right. I don't think. And so I don't when think you so add either. another layer, it, it messes with the actual camera itself. And right. So, it was like not focusing and then kind of like blurring and then it was almost doing like a double vision type of thing and then focusing, exactly. which was kind of unfortunate, but the protection is reassuring when you have such an expensive phone with an expensive camera. Yeah, and, <laughs> um, we, and we showed you the yeah. broken one. And so if, if that was our actual camera, because you notice it's broken right on the lens, mm -hmm. maybe that protected my camera. I don't know. Because yeah. I work in an environment and work that it, you know, it's pretty hostile for phones. So, yeah. um, you know, it could be good, it could be bad. You guys, the link is in the description if you wanna try it out, it's really cheap. Let me pull up the price on these real quick. All right, so for these tempered glass screen protectors, which we do actually currently still have on our phones, mm -hmm. and they've been amazing. Yeah. Um, they fit the phone perfectly. Yep. Um, they came in this. They came in that, and they two. came with two of the camera protectors and three screen protectors. They're all tempered glass, mm -hmm. and those were only $8.71 on Amazon. But we are working with this company and they did give us a 20% off discount code. So if you click the link in the description, it'll send you to their Amazon link and you will get 20% off of that, which mm -hmm. that is very affordable yeah. for three screen protectors and two camera protectors, you know, pretty awesome. Yeah. And again, we're not getting paid. This is not sponsored. Right. They just sent these to us and gave us a code for you guys. If you want to try it out um, and be a judge yourself. Yeah. So feel free. Those are the things that were sent to us. Now let's get into the products that we bought for ourselves. And that we uh, use yeah. every day, exactly. all the time. <laughs> exactly, let's do it. Let's get rid of these and let's get into the products that we bought. All right, so just in case we didn't mention it, we are kind of underdressed. Yeah, <laughs> it's Christmas, Christmas time. Dress. It's Christmas time. And it's Sunday, so we're lounging. Exactly. But we still want to film a video for And you guys. we did just <laughs> post a video of us decorating the inside of the house for Christmas. So if you're mm -hmm. interested in seeing that, feel free. Yeah. All right, so what we have next is the cases that we have on our phones currently. The case that I use on my phone is from a company called Taurus, and this was $18 and some change on Amazon, and I saw it and I had to get it. Now, I have the Graphite or the black iPhone 13 Pro Max, and this case accentuates it perfectly. So let me take it off real quick so you can see what the actual, just the case looks like. So here's the case. It basically is transparent on the back, almost opaque, but it's a black tint. And what you'll notice is my iPhone is black. So um, when I slide it in the case, which it just snaps in really easily, it has red side buttons, which the case did come with three different colors. I believe it came with um, black, red, and yellow side buttons. So you can actually interchange these with any colors that you want. And it did come with those, which is awesome. And the case is only about $18 and some change, yeah, right? Yeah, it's sweet. Shockproof, um, it has the raised camera ridge. So when you put your phone down on the table, um, it doesn't damage your camera mm -hmm. and it looks really nice. The buttons are very tactile, they're interchangeable and um, your bottom slots are open and it has the company logo on the side of your Taurus. But overall, um, you can put your phone down on the table and it's raised, the edges are raised so it's 
beautiful. I love it. Yeah. And you know, all in all, great buy. I use it every single day. Okay. It's slim, it's lightweight, it's compact. It won't get stuck in your pocket. And that's what I really like about this case. Yeah, also from Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. I mean, we'll leave the affiliate link in the description below for this case, but if you're a fan of customizing your cases with different colored side buttons, like I am, they make multiple colors of this case, clear, blue, pink, whatever you want. And um, all in all, amazing. I would definitely recommend this product. Let's get on to Megan's case, which we are filming with her camera right now yeah, on so the we're iPhone 13 Pro Max. Right yep, now we'll to do show a, mine. Yeah. exactly. We'll do a quick switcheroo and let's show you hers. All right, here is the phone case that I use. It is off of Amazon from Lulin. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. I might be butchering it, but it is actually clear. I'll show you what it looks like not in my phone. So I do have the Sierra Blue iPhone 13 Pro Max. And here is my case, not on my phone. It's completely clear. You can see my face through it. And I wanted to get a clear case because I did get the blue phone. I wanted to show off the blue. Why would you get yeah, a color phone awesome. without showing it? But I, I came across um, a, a different case actually that was clear with like a flower print on it. And I really like the idea of seeing the blue but also having flowers on top. And then I saw this one, it has like pink and blue. It matched it really well. Super girly, but I absolutely love this case. I think it looks super cute, and I haven't had any phone breaking or anything like that, so I think it is super awesome. We have that it's a phone case that I chose right when we bought the phone. We actually had these shipped, and they arrived to our house before we even got our phones. Yep. So, um, yeah, and they've held up since we got our phones, at, what, September 24th? Yeah, whenever the launch date was, we got yeah. these phones. And uh, her case, you know, I'm always worried about clear cases from UV exposure, yellowing, or just looking bad. But her case Has is it, yeah. awesome. Yeah, no, it's But yeah, great. this was $12.99. I got it off of Amazon as well, and that will be in the link down below in the yeah. description. Exactly. There you go. I'll give you a little close up. So here is my phone case. I think it is super, super cute. And it has like a little gold frame around the camera, which I think is sweet. But yeah, there's my phone case. All right, so moving on to another item that we use every single day is this cheap Amazon charger. Now, we've had this for... Oh my gosh. Two, three years? Yeah. Three yeah, years. Two or three years exactly. we've had these chargers. I have one on my nightstand. He has one on his nightstand. Super cool. And I use my Apple Watch every single day. So what I do before I go to bed is I will just put my Apple Watch on here with the... By the way, you do have to use your own Apple Watch charger. So mm -hmm. it inserts into this and you run the cable underneath. So if I were to take this off, you could see the cable is right there. Mm -hmm. um, I think most of them are like this. Exactly, yeah. but it does have the wireless charger for your phone. So I put my watch on there, I put my phone on here, and both of them charge at the exact same time. Yeah. And it's amazing because the iPhone, the Apple Watch only takes about, you know, 30, 40 minutes fully charged. The phone will take a little bit longer um, with this big battery in the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and it's great. And this is the charging port that it came with. Exactly. So this Super is, cool. let's see, what is this? This is Quick Charge 3.0 by Qualcomm, and it is a, output is two amps and 1.5 amps. So two amps for the wireless charger for the iPhone and 1.5 amps for your Apple Watch, yeah. which is awesome. And it's just a micro USB. So if you ever, you know, lose a cable or whatever, micro USB, yeah. super easy. But we've had no issues. We've had this, like we said, for like two, maybe two and a half, three years. Right. And nothing has gone wrong with it, hasn't broken in any way. I mean, we chose this one because it has such a small footprint. Like a lot of the nightstand chargers that are wireless are a little bit more bulky. The ones that also charge your Apple right. Watch, they have, they have like the like stand that's like risen. Exactly. It like, like floats it right. up, and they were just a little bit too too large for what we wanted. We wanted something that laid flat on our nightstand that you can't really see, mm -hmm. and this one worked really well. Yeah, and this was only like 10, 15 bucks, maybe oh, yeah, even super less. Cheap. Right, we've had it for a long time, so we will post a link to this in the description below as well, mm -hmm. but definitely a plus. I would definitely get one of these, if, even if it's not this brand or from our Amazon affiliate mm -hmm. link. The dual um, Apple Watch charger with the iPhone wireless charger so is nice. amazing. So, nice. so, yep, let's move on to the next part. All right, so if you guys are fans of Apple products, you know that there's the Apple Watch, which I wear every single day. Mm -hmm. um, we have our iPhone 13 Pro Max, which Megan and I just got together. Mm -hmm. And if you're gonna use Apple products, you probably want the AirPod Pros. Now, they did just come out with the AirPod 3, third generation, I believe, mm -hmm. which are a little bit different from the AirPod Pros, but these things are amazing. Noise cancellation, 
yeah. um, wireless charging, which we use works. Use it to edit all the videos. Right, and this wireless charging works with the um, previous wireless charger that we just showed you. You can just put them right in place of the iPhone, and it'll charge them, which mm -hmm. is pretty awesome. But these things are so small, they're so compact. You just put them right in the ear, and they automatically pair with your phone. I just heard the. <laughs> so yeah, if you put these in, and I have them on the uh, mode where you can't hear yourself. It's pretty annoying. So <laughs> I'm sure that you could wear these at the gun range and uh, you would not get blasted by that. I would shot. not suggest that at <laughs> all. Not recommend it. Not saying to you. But <laughs> these are amazing. Um, vacuuming around the house, can't even hear the vacuum. So yeah, these no, are I, I love them. You yep. can be playing like video games and I can be editing a video in the, on the same couch and right. I can't even hear the Call of Duty playing exactly. in the background. And if you're doing yard work outside or whatever the case, um, these are sweat resistant. They're not waterproof, so don't put them in the water. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've had these for since the day they came out. We got these. Yeah, yeah, we got um, Over a year, and these are phenomenal. All right, and moving on to stuff that we use for our MacBook Pro. We have the 2018 version of the MacBook Pro with the Touch Bar. Um, this is the 15 inch version with the i9 and the 32 gigs of RAM. So it is pretty much a beast. And we have this beautiful skin on it that Megan picked out. This is from a company called Fish Skin, F I S H S K Y N, I believe. I believe right? so. Exactly. So this is an amazing laptop. And when you have an amazing laptop, especially from Apple, you know that they only come with these four Thunderbolt 4 or Type C connectors. Um, so we needed to get a docking station basically. And this was the one that we went across. Now we've tried the other docking stations and I think we've even um, got sent a different docking station that was like, you know, an eight in one or 12 in one docking station that was yeah. super small. This one comes with a power cable. You actually plug the power cable in here and it has a, a whole power brick that you plug into the wall. It's over it plugged into my wall right now, but it has two of the type C connectors that you basically just plug right into the side. And then you plug this into the wall and it will charge your MacBook. It has two USB C's, two USB 3.0's, an SD card reader, a micro SD card reader, a headphone jack. It has an HDMI, which is 4K. It also has a ethernet port and two more HDMI 2.0 ports. So this is quite a beast of a thing. And it also has a mini display port adapter. So um, if you guys are still rocking that mini display port, it's here. So, I think the only thing I don't like though, is that you do have to plug it into the wall. So right. it has to be plugged in. It's not like something that's portable. We do have a separate one that we use for like travel. It doesn't need to be plugged in just to convert to plug in our right, phone. Or right, right. Well, now we actually don't need to use this to plug our phone into our laptop mm -hmm. because the new Apple cables right. that came with the iPhone 13, 13s have the... Um, I see. Yep, exactly. Yep. That plugs directly into our phone. But before we got the iPhone 13, we had the iPhone 10s Max and that was USB. It didn't right. plug into our laptop. Right. So. But this is a very premium docking station. Like I said, it'll charge your MacBook, it'll charge your peripherals, and it has basically every single output um, that you could want and input. So. Mm -hmm. That's pretty awesome. Um, we were very happy with this. It has a nice rubber base. You just stick it on your desk and it kind of becomes its own thing. So whenever I bring my, um, bring our MacBook over to my desk, I just plug this thing right in and okay. then, yeah. Plug whatever you need into it. Exactly, which is awesome. Now this was pretty pricey. I think it was right around $130. Um, it, they might've come down in prices from a company called Ivanki, I-V-A-N-K-Y. And um, you know, we love it. We love it. Because you'll find other other docking stations out there for like you know 40 bucks 60 bucks but once you actually start plugging devices into them they get really hot and we weren't fans of fire hat solution right <laughs> now so this thing is absolutely awesome looks sleek is beautiful right mm -hmm. all right first up on our recording stuff is this whole time um gimbal gimbal there you go gimbal yeah. it has like a trigger on the back it has a little d-pad here that you can use to move the gimbal around and this thing is and awesome. Tiny little tripod. Right, little tiny tripod that screws on the bottom. Yeah, it's really nice. Or the side. No, it is really nice. And we've used this to film some of the videos on our channel. Mm -hmm. But with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, it has such good image stabilization that we really don't need to use no. this anymore. No, but I mean, it still is nice for that. It's great for like a small tripod. Right. First off, like if you just need it to be sitting somewhere to film, mm -hmm. you can just use it as a little tripod. Um, but it does have really great stabilization and it. It moves super, super smooth. Oh, I, I like it a lot. Like and it. the trigger is for action shots. So if you hold your phone and, and you hold the trigger, when you're panning around, it'll just hold the phone right in place. And there's multiple settings on this thing. It has an app and everything. But yeah, this thing has been pretty awesome for us. Yeah. And um, we've definitely used it at the parks. 
um, yep. at Disney. At Disney. And uh, just around the house. Exactly. Exactly. Anywhere. Yep. Fair so enough. this thing is pretty cool. And it's just fun to play with, to be honest. So. So this is the tripod that we currently use, and it is adjustable up to what, 62 inches or something? Yeah, it's taller than me. <laughs> right, and so this thing is compact, and it compacts all the way down to just the base there. So yeah, so it can be base... like a tabletop as well. Exactly. All right, and last but certainly not least is a portable charger. Now we got this. Gotta have one. Exactly, <laughs> you do. And we got this Mophie, which is a well-respected brand. Also Anchor, they're also really good. Um, but we got this from a, I think we got this from a thrift store for like $5. Mm -hmm. Now this, what's the capacity of this? This is a 20,000 milliamp hour battery. Um, and it is awesome because if you can see, it has the Apple um, lightning adapter Already on. right on it. So, so it just awesome. kind of folds up and you just put it back and it's a square and it um, has a LED indicator on the side here to show you the charge. And it does take quite a while to charge. But, but it lasts forever. Yeah, it'll charge me and her phone completely from zero to 100, no problem. And still have tons exactly. of Exactly, and it does also have one USB port on the side and it does charge via micro USB. So very common connector. And this lightning cable is pretty awesome. But of course you can connect all of your peripherals to this with that one USB on the side here. Yeah, so. but other charging bricks that don't come with like this automatic like charger that's already right. on there. If you bring, if you're like out and about and you bring your charging uh, brick, and then you don't bring the cable. Which is always like, well, you always bring You always have one or the other. Exactly. And this is like, it's all in one. Yep. This has been a lifesaver when we go to theme parks, when we go out and about. I, I love this one. And it charges your phone so quickly. I sometimes- It's the size it. of the phone. Yeah. Exactly. Megan uses this at home. I use this at home. Mm -hmm. If our phone is, uh, you know, nearing at the end of its life, yeah. we will just plug it up and it'll be zero to hundred in like thirty minutes. So quick. Exactly. Oh, fast! I think it's a faster charge than when we our phone plugged into yeah. the wall. Yeah. It's so it awesome. Is. It's so quick. We love this, but I think that was our last product to show you. Yep, that's it. That's all the products that we currently use for our iPhone 13 Pro Max mm -hmm. and our MacBook. Um, you know, I'm sure as time goes on. We'll get more products because we do have MagSafe with our phones, so we can get those nice new magnetic adapters that clip right on the back. But you know, we're satisfied with where we're at with our peripherals and all of our accessories. So yeah, let us know if there's something that we don't have that you really, really like. Yeah. You want us to try because I'm always down to try new accessories for our phones because it's something we use every single day. Yep. And yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you to the companies that sent us these products. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to see any of our other videos, including our review on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, please go ahead and check the link in the description below or click on one of these pop out tabs here mm -hmm. to go ahead and see the rest of our videos. So thanks for watching and you guys have see a great day. See you next time. Bye.